I'm Ramesh Zain. Uh, I'm a professor here in uh, computer science department. I came here in 2005. So I have completed just uh, 10 years now here. So it has been long time, uh, fun time. I could never decide really in my life whether I want to be a researcher and a professor or I want to be an entrepreneur. Uh, I started doing the entrepreneurship about 25 years ago. From that time, I have been involved in many companies, uh, but I I love doing both. As a result, possibly I have some uh, some students who have been totally amazing. For example, Photoshop uh, that was developed in my lab when I was at Michigan. Another student who became very famous, uh, Tony Fadell, was a student in my lab there, and he is considered father of iPod. And so he's the CEO of Nest. So when you have this kind of people who have made such a big influence in the world, it, it makes you feel good. Arguably, I was possibly the very first person who ever did anything with digital video. My first research paper in digital video was in 1976-77, where that time we could not capture video. Uh, forget about digital video, it was just video was very difficult. So that possibly was the first research paper and then I continued in that uh, space. And people politely call me father of multimedia because I was one of the first people and I started the first multimedia magazine and uh, things like that. I have the, the most important project that uh, drives many of the other projects uh, we call it social life networks. The basic idea is that uh, the ultimate problem that every branch of science and engineering and uh, social sciences and business and everybody is trying to solve is how do we connect people's needs to resources? Because ultimately we all need things and we are always looking for resources. And uh, this connection has to be done uh, efficiently, effectively and promptly. If I am hungry, I need food. If I am sick, I need doctors. If I need to know about something, I need the resources, whether they are encyclopedias or person or something. Uh, at one time, it was very difficult to solve this problem. But with uh, all the modern uh, technology now, particularly mobile phones and uh, internet of things and all cloud computing, social media, it has become very easy to do that and that's what drives me because I grew up in India though I have left India 40 years ago but I still go there almost every year and when I see the basic difference between a developing country and a developed country is how resources are available and how resources are distributed. I see an opportunity for uh, making the world much better place if we can uh, use all this technology to identify where people are, what they need and where the correct resources are and connecting them.